All right, guys, today I want to talk to you about Salaryman Kentaro. And I just got finished rewatching it again. And I want to say this is one anime that I would suggest anybody watch. Don't like anime, uh, I would suggest giving it a try. Salaryman Kentaro is an anime that is very, very well done. It's an older anime. You might not like the animation style. But normally, if I watch an anime and I'm suggesting it, I'll tell you what kind of anime it is and why you might like it if you're a fan of that kind of genre. Salaryman Man Kentaro is an anime that everybody should watch, I believe. Kentaro, if people had his morals and his, like, beliefs, the world would be such a better place. Like, Kentaro is, like, the ultimate person to me, anyways. Even though he does make mistakes, and some of his mistakes have very, very dire, like, repercussions for them. He is very steadfast in his beliefs, and anything he does, even the, his, the mistakes he makes, even though the show does a really good job at showing how that can affect people around him, it's very understandable why he would do the things he does. One thing he does that I can't even wrap my head around, if I was in the same situation, there was no way I would do the same thing he, would, he did, and he, is, he will put anything at risk to help somebody else even if he doesn't know them, which is like his biggest character trait. He is someone that will help anyone. He will always attempt to help someone. There's one part, and it's not, It's I guess it's kind of a spoiler, but it's one, it's like one small part in the show where there's a fire and his son is at risk. There's also two kids on the top floor and the fire's been going on and he tells his son, he's like, wait here. I'm going to go get the other two kids. And then his kid's like, I'm scared, blah, 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 blah. He's like, don't worry. I'm not going to leave you here alone. If we, die, if I die, if you die, I'm going to die as well. And he goes to save the two other kids. I could never rationalize that. In my head, what would have to happen is I'm going to save my kid first. And then maybe later, it, I would attempt to maybe save the other kids. That's the only way I could see that going down. At least I'm going to save my kid first. Kintaro, on the other hand, was going to make sure that he was saving everyone at the same time. And even that action almost has like a serious repercussion to it. But that's just showing how he, his mentality is. He will do whatever he has to do to save someone or help them or do whatever he has to do. But he's also taught many times throughout the show that even though you may think you're doing the right things, there are ways... There are ways that they have to be done. There are things that you can't just brute force. There are things that you can't just try to force it to happen. It's something where you have to go through the correct procedure and the business world isn't just going to bend to your um, whims pretty much. And Kintaro doesn't do anything that's like super, it's a very realistic show. You can actually learn a lot about like the Japanese business world I guess it'd be the Japanese business world in the 90s. It might still be like that today. But you can learn a lot about it. I learned about bidding, bid fixing, and all kinds of things like that. I had no idea what they are. It's kind of useless information to me. But it's still interesting to learn something new. But Kintaro and the whole show's story connects. Like, anything Kintaro does will have an impact on the show and on the world around him. One thing this anime does, it shows that a great person can touch so many people's lives. Like, Kintaro affects so many people throughout the whole, the whole show. Like, he is actually, like, he makes such a difference throughout the whole show, it's insane. Like, he, he has, like, thousands of people that are willing to back him up in a moment, so you know, just drop everything to help him out. He doesn't ask much for people, but when he asks, people are always willing to help him because they know that he, because he's already proven it multiple times, that he'll do whatever he needs to help someone. Granted, even though there's a lot of repercussions in this anime, it still takes like a rose-colored lens of you because in this anime, you would think, just in real life in general, when you help someone or when somebody's taught a lesson, that doesn't mean they're going to learn that lesson. In this anime, it does seem like that usually happens, or the character, uh, the lesson they learn, pretty much removes them from the show. <laughs> but in real life, just because you help someone or just because 
you um, pretty much show them the error of their ways, that doesn't mean they're going to change. In this show, they're either going to change or they kind of disappear from the show. Um, there's a lot, there's a good bit of fight scenes, but they're all realistic, and Kintaro does not win all of them. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. And I like that in the show. I like it when the main character is just not some omnipotent character that can do whatever whatever he wants whenever he wants. Kintaro's strong, but Kintaro is not the strongest in the show by far. But he has something that no one else has. He has the the want and the drive to help everyone around him. No matter who they are, no matter how they treat him, he will always help them. And this grows and it becomes such because he gets these very powerful relationships without even meaning to. And something, Kintaro, you can see his impacts, even the smallest impacts he has with people. You'll see that during the course of the show, there'll be that one small impact, but it'll change someone so much that they'll have an, a greater impact on like events in the show. Like there are things where Kintaro does not know that he had an impact that was going to cause this fix to happen, but it does happen. There's parts in the show where you're watching other characters that Kintaro like helped or changed their life become the main characters of the show. Not, not like multiple episodes, you're not following other characters. Kintaro is the main character of the show. But these characters become important, very important, because they have an ability to help Kentaro and they have an ability to help Yamato Construction, which is the company that Kentaro works for. So it's really interesting seeing something like that because every character has a purpose. There's no characters in the show that doesn't have a, pur a purpose at all. Even the thousands of people who don't get like in, like um, intricate backstories, besides seeing them when they gather, have a very important reason in the show. Because in Japan, the police force is not going to be able to stop six thousand people. That's just a fact. It's not going to happen. The police force can arrest them after the fact when the group is dispersed. But there's no way the police force in Japan in this time period are going to stop 6,000 people. It's just not going to happen. And some very amazing things happened in the show because of Kintaro, but none of them are super unrealistic. There's a few things where you could be like, ah, oh, that wouldn't happen like that. But I like the realism in the show, and I really like that it teaches you that violence isn't always the answer, but sometimes you got to stand up for yourself. That's a very important thing. Kintaro will stand up for himself. And there's also times where you got to bite your tongue and you have to tackle it another way. And Kintaro very much show, very much so shows that even though it's a, a salaryman job is not a high standing position or anything that's super amazing, but he takes it seriously. And he shows why they are important people in society as well. Even though their job's not like the most important thing in the world, they are important. And he wants to be one. And that is a whole show. And he just wants to be the best one he can be. And it is very well done. You will, episode 19 stressed me out. I'm just gonna let you know. That's the second to last episode. There's 20 episodes. That episode stressed me out. Because you will learn to care about these characters and you will get concerned for them because bad things do happen d does happen in the show bad things do happen but bad things does happen yeah does happen in the show but yeah if you haven't already checked this anime out it's an older anime i personally i kind of like the older style like drawing and animation you may not but i would say watch it for the story watch it for the characters and just Give it a chance, because I'm telling you, this is an anime that most uh, anybody could watch and enjoy it a lot. And you might enjoy it more than you think. But thanks for watching as always, guys. If you could, please like and subscribe.